is my eighth nomination and my first win. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like I've earned this one. <laughs> Um, huge thanks to everyone who voted for me. Um, it's not easy to be voted for, I've learned. Um, a massive thanks to HarperCollins who've been here eight years and walked away with me as losers. <laughs> so thank you so much for, um, thanks for your support. I've, I've been with you for 12 years now. Uh, Lynn Drew's been my editor for that amount of time. I adore working with you all. I think you're the most creative, inspiring, innovative, innovative bunch. And um, I just want to thank you so much for giving me the freedom to write whatever the hell I want to write without telling me what to write. I think as an author, that is an absolute dream. <laughs> so, um, for all publishers, that's the top tip. <laughs> um, and thank you for paying me for being a weirdo and for letting me write my weirdness on your fancy paper. Um, <laughs> And who else would I like to thank? My family, um, two super women at that table, my mom and uh, Marianne Gunn O'Connor, without whom I would not be here. And I'd like to thank my husband, who did not think that I was going to win, so he went to a premiere, uh, Paddington Bear premiere with my daughter tonight <laughs> and, uh, and dumped me. But look, honey! Um, and who else? And the booksellers. Uh, massive thanks to the booksellers. You've supported me from day one. You are a nutty, zany, amazing lot who just believe in the, I suppose, the importance of storytelling, which makes you my heroes. So uh, thank you so much. I actually can't believe how happy I am. I'm so happy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. What does it mean to you then to win? What's the significance of it for you? Do you know what? I really didn't think I'd be this happy. I think um, when you're I just always get used to not winning. So it's a real honor to be here, to be in the room with all of these people I adore. I get so starstruck over authors. Um, but then to win one, it's just a really, do you know, I, f I feel really happy for my publishers. I feel that, that they're the people that um, I'm happier for them than for me. They put so much work into it. They've all come over from London. Year after year after year, I didn't win. <laughs> and so this year I was like, yes, HarperCollins. I feel happy for, for the team, I suppose. You're very emotional. I know, who thought? Who would have thought? Um, no, really, because for that reason, I think it's, it's been so many years and there's such a huge team and you just want to say thank you to them. You want to win it for them and you want to say thank you to them. From the debut novel that really, you know, burst onto the scenes, P.S. I Love You, you've always been noted as somebody who just comes up with these extraordinarily original central ideas to your books. Yeah, thank you. Are you just all the time making notes? You know, yeah. for example, this one, where did the idea of this come to you? Do you have a, a drawer full of them and you're just working your way through them? I do. I have a book of ideas. So whenever I come up with ideas, I, um, I scribble them down. And I even came up with an idea about my book of ideas, which I wrote my book of ideas. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's really important. I think a lot of the time I'll come up with ideas, but they're not fully formed yet. And if you, when you write them down, um, they're there and they can be there for years and then all of a sudden I'll come up with a character a couple of years later and it'll slot into that idea and it'll all come together. Looking back then at say P.S. I love you and the book since then, how many is it now? Eleven. 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 Yeah, Eleven. Eleven. How do you think you've changed as a writer over the years? Um, I think I've gotten a lot better. <laughs> um, it's definitely, I've kept my voice and my style will always be the same. I, I kind of, the thread between all of them is that I'm writing about a character who's in a really just has hit the lowest point of their life and don't think they can go any lower. Um, and what it's, it's about them just going through this journey of self-discovery as they go through that process. I have, my philosophy is that when we're happy, we're just happy, we don't ask any questions. And when we all go through difficult times, we really just self-analyze, we ask questions about everything. And I find that the toughest times, um, I find a stronger part of myself comes out of that. You wish the tough time didn't happen, but as a result of it, you are a stronger person. And that's kind of what's tied them all together, all 11 books, but definitely everything's better, you know language, description, character, everything is kind of as it should be after 12 years beginning better. This is, this has been an incredible year for you. Love Rosie, the movie hit the cinemas along obviously with your win tonight. Yeah. Tell us about what the year has been like for you. Have you enjoyed yourself this year? Yeah, yeah. I mean, every, I enjoy every year. To me, my favourite thing is just sitting in my office and writing and that's what I do this for. Uh, tonight's the hard work, you know, the, the easy part is writing the, the novel. Um, this year I, was, I wrote a second novel then in the summertime, which I I've never done before and it's uh, my first young adult book so um, yeah it was a, it's been an interesting busy year but it's look the more books I can write the better the more time and freedom I'm given to write that's the best 
it's really the best thing for me. Well, keep writing, please, on Thank behalf you. of all of your readers. And Thank huge you. congratulations. I know what this means to you. Yeah. And it's so lovely <laughs> to see it clutching this award. I know. Bring it home safely. Go. It's going to be another eight years maybe before I get another one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hanging on. <laughs>